In today's video, we are talking about how to use the Baby Brezza Smart Bottle Warmer. In full disclosure, we did receive this from Baby Brezza, so thank you. This is the Smart Bottle Warmer. This is the lid on the top. This is the bottle tray in which you will put your bottle to warm it. And the back of this unit is a measuring cup, which you can take off right there. And we've got a cord right here, and it's relatively short. If you want to wind it up and make it a little closer to your outlet, you can certainly do that. It's right down here. You can coil that cord up, or if you need to travel or something like that, you can just coil it around the bottom there. This smart bottle warmer apparently can attach to your smartphone. We're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that in another upcoming video soon. So we're gonna start off by actually plugging this thing in, seeing what's up. All right, nothing's happening so far. That's fine. I'm putting this orange thing in. It looks like this orange thing. I think it's supposed to go with this little groove tab thing toward the back. Because what happens when you close this is it lowers the tray a little farther into the heating elements and such. You lift this up and it pulls it up so that you can grab it and pull your bottle out. We're going to start off by using one of these Baby Brezza bottles that we received from Baby Brezza's. This bottle is a five ounce bottle. I was just gonna drop it, but I put my finger in there and I just lowered it in there. Now something it says to be sure to remove all venting systems from the bottle before you heat it, but honestly, I don't know if I'm supposed to remove this nipple part, you know, this collar. This is actually a two-in-one bottle, so this nipple does not remove from the collar of this bottle. Otherwise, it would just be like an empty, open bottle sitting in there. Let's check this out and see what it's all about. Go ahead and set this in here. Now, if you look here at the unit, we've got a power button, a room temperature button, a cold button, and a quick warm button, as well as a steady warm button. We are gonna start off with the quick warm. And with the quick warm, we have a quick warm fill line and we do not want to exceed that quick warm fill line. So what I'm gonna do is add water to this measuring cup because this is the quick line measuring cup and it should fill it up to there. Pouring it in and you can pour this in before you put your bottle in. Wow, that's impressive how accurate this little measuring cup was for the quick fill. And put this in, we're gonna close this. We're gonna turn this power on and it gives us a one. Now we need to think about what bottle we're using, how many ounces, and how hot we want this to get. This is the little chart that tells you what setting to put this on. We are using a room temperature bottle, so we're gonna look at the quick warm room temperature. If I have a cold bottle, refrigerated 39 degrees, I would use the cold temperature settings. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the room temperature button. We have four ounces. We're gonna go to setting four. So I have to push the quick warm button. I got on setting four, room temperature, which looks like a little house. Pushing this button, and it says two minutes, 35 seconds, and it's counting down. So let's see how hot this bottle gets. The difference between a quick warm and a steady warm is that the quick warm is gonna use steam to warm up your bottle, so you're gonna, it's gonna get a lot hotter inside the unit. Test your bottle whenever it's done. It's got one minute, nine seconds left. Right now, it is steamy. You can't see really what's going on here. I feel the heat coming out of the top. It's pretty hot. Don't wanna leave your hand up there long, obviously. 32 seconds left. The real question is gonna be, is this going to be warm enough or too hot for baby? That's the thing I'm most concerned about. I obviously don't want it to be too hot for baby. The steady warm is a lot more accurate in temperature, but you still have to test the bottle. Okay. Five beeps means it's ready. So I'm gonna open the lid. Whoop. Got to be careful opening the lid. The steam is coming out of there. And do not reach down and grab the bottle. You want to grab this orange tray, pull it out. We're going to set it aside. Now I'm just going to twirl this around a little bit because it's still a little bit too hot. And the reason I'm twirling it around a little bit like this is to make sure that the heat distribution is even within the bottle. Okay, so now I'm going to pull this out. It feels a little warm to the touch on the outside where the steam was. Um, you might even get a towel and dry it off. I'm gonna test this on my wrist, like we do. I don't fill it at all, so that means that this thing has warmed up accurately. I would feed this to my baby because it does not feel too hot to me, it does not feel too hot to the touch. I think that this did a great job with the quick warm, so now we're gonna try the steady warm and see how that does. I have a separate bottle here for the steady warm. And this is another Baby Brezza bottle. We're going to just drop this in here. 
very carefully. We are going to put this inside. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the water up to the top of wherever the formula or breast milk is inside this unit. That means that you'll need more than that measuring cup. What we're gonna do is just use a cup that I have here. We're gonna fill this to the top of the formula. And that's exactly where that is right now especially after lowering, lowering the lid. Now, before we hit the steady warm button, we're going to go ahead and turn this on. We're gonna look at steady warm. We're coming from room temperature water. It's not coming out of the refrigerator, so we're gonna use the room temperature setting. We have four ounces, so we're gonna use the setting of four. It's currently at four. Instead of hitting quick warm, what I'm going to do here is hit steady warm. That's gonna give it a bath of warm water so that this bottle heats up without the steam, but rather using like a warm bath of water. It still will heat it up, and we're just gonna wait some time and see how this thing does. All right, we have about six seconds left, and you shall hear five beeps starting right about now. Okay, so this bath is done. So I'm kind of curious how well this did compared to the quick warm. Lift the lid again. We're going to lift this out of here. We're going to swirl this around much like we did before because we want our heat evenly distributed throughout the bottle. And I want to say it's probably going to be more so distributed this way than it was with the quick warm. So let's take a look at this. Bottle's a little warm. It's not as hot as it was with the quick warm, but it's still warm, but it's not nearly as hot feeling on the outside. Um, it feels warm kind of all around. So let's do the test. Let's do the old, old school wrist test here. I feel that a little bit more than I did with the quick warm test, but it's not that much of a difference. I might let this sit for a minute or two and cool off before I use this one with baby. If the bottle is too hot, what you want to do is change the setting. So maybe with a four ounce, maybe I want to drop it down to a setting of three so it won't warm as long. Or maybe I want to put more water in this so that maybe there's more water to heat up. You need to adjust as necessary whenever using this bottle warmer to make sure that this is never too hot for your baby. So what I want to do at this point, we want to guide you right over here to this video which tells you how to use your phone with the Baby Brezza Smart Bottle Warmer. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Good.